For much of the last 20 years, I've explored the underside of the American dream. I've gone around the country talking to people about poverty, about homelessness, about hunger. The American way of poverty is the culmination of this two decades of work. This isn't a story you can cover in a few weeks or a few months. This is a story as complicated as modern day America. The only way I was going to tell it was just absolute immersion. So I spent a huge amount of time basically building up trust, going to um, organizations that work with people in difficulties, going to food banks, going to churches, going to welfare agencies, and talking to people, explaining to them the project, explaining to them the importance of bringing alive these stories. Even after the economic collapse, this was a country with more billionaires than anywhere else on earth. And even after the economic collapse, this was a country with more fancy cars and more McMansions than anywhere else on earth. And yet if you looked carefully, if you went to trailer parks, if you went to suburbs in places like Stockton, where the economy had just collapsed, if you went to colonias where hundreds of thousands of undocumented migrants live, if you went to these forgotten towns in Appalachia, or if you just went to a place, an inner city area like North Philadelphia, you saw a level of poverty that was just as pervasive and just as soul destroying as what Michael Harrington was experiencing half a century earlier. If you're talking about poverty, you're talking about all people, young people, black, brown, white, you're talking about rural, you're talking about urban. Sometimes you're talking about people with college degrees. You're asking people really intimate questions about their lives. You're asking people about their dreams and about their fears and about their hopes for the future. Well, what does it feel like to lose a job? What does it feel like to go to bed hungry? After a while, I realized every stereotype, every preconception, everything I thought I knew about poverty coming into the project was far too simple. We have to look at what it means to our politics. We have to look at what it means to our sense of community. And once we've done that, once we've looked at what it means, then we look ahead. What can we do to change this? What can we do to create a set of policies that will actually bring people out of poverty? Because I think we have an obligation as a society, as a community, to live up to our ideals. Yes, it's expensive to fix, but if we don't fix it, we'll corrode our own society.